good. Backyard Barbecue is a barbecue rest, man. This your boy, Mr. B. Uh, once again, from Backyard Barbecue. And uh, it is a Saturday. As y'all can see, it's kind of gloomy out. It's raining. Um, I'm going to fire my grill. I'm going to do the Weber kettle today, y'all. But today, I'm not... I'm gonna do a cook, but uh, I'm just gonna put some hamburgers and uh, sausage on, just messing around on, on, on the kettle, just to get familiar with that again. Uh, but today I'm gonna test the product. Uh, I might say I'll be getting products in the mail. We're gonna test it out, y'all. I'm gonna open this box up. Uh, I'm gonna open it up. i show y'all exactly what I'm testing, y'all. Uh, hey, if y'all got something y'all want me to test out there, send it to me. Uh, hit me up, and I'll shoot you the uh, my email address, and then we can talk offline about how to get products to me. And we're about the box. Today, we're going to test this thing right here called Inkbird, the smart wireless barbecue thermometer. Bam! We're going to see what this thing do. I uh, believe it's online on Amazon. That's how they had me uh, uh, acquire it because I guess the company is overseas somewhere. Uh, shout out to the lady that I talked to in reference to this. Uh, appreciate the product. Uh, but we're going to test it out. Let's see. Hold on. Let's open this box up, man. I ain't going to keep y'all long. I just want y'all to see what this thing does. And you know I'm going to get my honest opinion on whether this thing is any good. Uh, never heard of them ink birds. But we're going to find out. Uh... Some favorite ass questions. Orange. Eh. If it was orange and blue, oh, this is a faux probe, y'all. Faux probe. Uh, ensure that the probes are properly inserted. Yada yada. Let's see how many of these uh probes they sent me though. Oh, they got a. This must be a. Uh... Huh. Okay. Look like he charged this up. Oh, I got four pros, y'all. One, two, three, four. One for the grill. One for your meat. Actually, three for your meat. And they gave me a couple of, of the handy dandy clips. Bet I could use this if it works properly, y'all. So stay tuned. I'm going to fire my kettle, uh, Weber kettle. Uh, we're going to get this thing operational. I don't even know if it's charged up, but we're going to charge it up. And uh, I'll be back, y'all. We're just going to throw some stuff on the grill and see what this thing does, y'all. Stay tuned. Hey, man. I'm in the kitchen right now. Well, sitting at the table right now. Got this uh, ink bird. Awesome color orange. Should be orange and blue. Um, but to show y'all, got an iPod right here. Uh, with the app I downloaded, you can you can Google it at uh, BBQ Go. Download the app for iPods or uh, Apple or Android devices. Um, seems pretty ship Simple. All I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try, try to connect uh, my ther thermometer probe into one of the sockets and see if I can get the, uh, one sink up and see if I can get a temperature on it, just to see how easy it is. Come right here. Um, all right, so we're gonna do this right here. I got the app open. I got Bluetooth already uh, enabled on this, so we're just gonna turn this thing on. It says hold for like three seconds. We're gonna do that. All right, then I'm gonna hit start. Scanning Bluetooth, then it says hit the button, and it says you've successfully activated your device. Done. All right, this is the app. Four probes. Um, let's go ahead and plug one in real quick. Let's see what this thing does. Da, 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 da. All right, make sure you insert it real, real firm because it says uh, in the instructions. I guess people been complaining about that. Um, there you have it, 72, 72. Seems pretty uh, spot on. Um, it does have some options in here to uh, a timer. Uh, it even has one where you put the uh, the flavor of meat you're cooking. Uh, I think I'm going to mess around with chicken today. I know I said uh, probably some hamburgers and hot dogs, but I'm going to do chicken. I selected that one. Uh, we're going to go back. Maybe I should read the instructions. Chicken. Set. There you go. Easy. So at 165, I'm assuming it's going to do an alert. Uh, and it's supposed to notify me within 10 degrees of going below or above the temperature. So um, we're gonna, I'll be back, y'all. We're going to set it back. Uh, we're gonna, once I get the chicken, 
ready to grill. It's coming up to temp. Now it's outside, coming up to temp. And then uh, we're just gonna plug it in. I'm gonna use maybe, I don't wanna mess them all up. You know what? I'm gonna hook them all up. We're gonna hook them all up and see what it does. We're gonna have three meat probes stuck in uh, some chicken thighs. And then we're gonna go from there, y'all. So stay tuned, we'll be back. And we're gonna talk about this product and how well, seems pretty seamless right now. But I don't know if the temperatures are spot on. I'll probably test the uh, these in boiling water. Water boils at 212. So I'll probably test those just to see how far they are off on accuracy. But uh, I'll do that later. And we'll go from there, y'all. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up, y'all, man? This your boy, man. We back. Um, I got the grill going. I got the uh, the ink bird on and running. This thing, man, is phenomenal so far. Pretty easy to operate. I'm going to tell you hands down, man. I mean, it's basic. It's simple. You know, I got the Maverick 733. I even had the 735, I want to say. Um, testing them out. They are, truthfully, more complicated just to do the same doggone thing, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, these are way cheaper. Um, like I said, this one came with four probes, uh, three of them being for meat and then one for the uh, for the grill to tell you temps. Let me show you something. Y'all can see. Uh, let's see if you can see this right now. It said 221. That's just the uh, temperature of the grill. It's steady going up. I just took the lid and put it back on. I got chicken, uh, 50 degrees. They hovering around the same thing because I didn't take them out the refrigerator. Um, man, this thing is pretty doggone decent. I'm um, just trying to play with the alarms though on it. This thing beeps like crazy when it's in that 10 degree uh temperature. So I'm messing around with it. Oh, let me give you a look real quick. I got a little tape I just put up real quick. Bear with me just to hold it because I don't want it to burn up as plastic. Uh, it does have metal on it. Uh, that's my little concoction. I know it's crazy to set up, but I don't have much room on this 18 and a half inch uh, Weber kettle. Uh, so if you got a 26, you winning, man. Uh, I wish I had bought one, but you know, when you're first starting off, you're just buying grills. You don't know. You just have. I was just happy to have a Weber, and that thing's been with me. Oh man, uh, maybe about ten years almost, and it still looks phenomenal. Legs still holding up, wheels still on it. Everything's operating like it's supposed to, man. Other than the grate, top grate, you know, it was a little rusty. I had to do some maintenance on it when I first got back, but it's operating. I keep it oil now. Spray peanut oil on it every now and then to get it back. Never going to see that chrome polished finish, but uh, who cares when you got meat on there and you you, you know how to clean it. Um, you can burn it with high heat. A lot of people do that. Like if you go to a park and you use those grills right there, you light it, get it real hot, uh, get a good bed of coal, and then you uh, you scrub it. You can even take aluminum foil, use dish detergent, whatever, aluminum foil, scrub it down, or use the food safe uh, stuff they sell at Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. But anyway, man, this thing, I'm going to come back, man, after I uh, cook this chicken, and I'm going to tell y'all if it operated like it should have. And then I may even do a boiling test on it, so bear with me. We'll be back, y'all. Uh, see the grill looking at 324 right now. Chicken sitting at uh, says 174. Uh, we're about to find out how true that is. Uh, let's see, man. Without further ado, man, I'm going to hold y'all up. Yeah. See, it's still running over there. 324. Ooh, that chicken looking crisp. Yeah, it's about time to pull that. They grill running like a champ, man. These little charcoal. So I'm going to go and pull this chicken, y'all, and then we're going to do a, uh, a boil test in the, in, in the kitchen. So come on, bear with me, man. Let's do it. Y'all, we're back, man. I'm in the kitchen. I got water boiling right now. Um, what I'm going to do is test it with my thermopen right here, the MK4. Uh, this right here is what they use in competitions to test meat to see the temperature of it like immediately So we're gonna test this. Let me bring up the camera real quick so y'all can uh, get a close-up on it uh, As I show you all these temps uh, over here, I got my uh, Ink bird. I got the full probe sitting out three of them for meat As you can see right now, this is at 87. Make sure y'all can see that 85 86 uh, I'm just going to stick it in the water. Remember I told you 212? Water boy is that? I don't know if y'all can see that. That says 212. Let me get a close up. 211, 212 is fluctuating. So the thermal pen is pretty much spot on. So let's, without further ado, let's take all four of these probes. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, get creative with this. 
and stick them in the water. And I'm gonna show you on the app exactly what they say. Two oh eight, two ten. Two ten, two ten. So they're about two degrees off. So you got three of them, two eight. Cause I'm lifting it now. Ooh, this thing getting hot in my hand. See they they sitting at two ten. So that shows me three of them are pretty much calibrated. The one that's giving me a different temp is this one, number one. So I'm gonna sit it in there just like that and see if it goes up the temp. Number one. I'm gonna give it a second. It's at 196. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah. It's going up. I'm gonna give it a minute, see if it reaches uh, 210 maybe. 203, it's trying. And this will give me a, a good idea of what I'm reading actually on the grill when it when meat is on the grill. So 207, 208, I could deal with that. It's within four degrees of the boiling water. Come on, baby. We'll get about 10 more seconds. 210. Five more seconds. All right, y'all. There you go, man. There you have it. Once again, we stick these back in here. These three right here, just by themselves. These pretty much spot on. I'm going to do it one more time. Like I said, this boiling water. So we already know what number one is. Look at that, immediately 210. Immediately 210. So all three of them, I don't know if y'all can see that, 210. That's number four, number three, and number two. Obviously number one is out of the water now. Y'all see that? All three of them, the same temp. And this is on the Inkbird, something I never heard of. I'm going to turn this off. Sit this back for a minute. Bump my guns with y'all for a minute. Move this hot water so I'm burn myself while I talk. Um, there you have it, y'all. Pretty simple. Inkbird, man. Uh, this thing, like I said, uh, these are waterproof probes. Uh, they sit in very nicely, very tight into the uh, the back of the unit. Feels cheap, but obviously. Um, I don't know, man. This is my first use, man. I'm going to give this a thumbs up, man, just because of the simple ease of use of it. Uh, the only problem I had was when I went in my garage with the uh, with my iPhone, uh, my iTouch, uh, I lost signal. Now, that could be a million of things because I don't know what the house is made of behind these walls and stuff. So that could have been something as far as the structure of the house and me on the patio out there cooking. Um, like I said, all you do is hold a button. It's off. Turn it back on. And it's on. Bam, just that quick. You already see the signal shooting out. And my phone's back up. This thing beeps more than the other man when you got when, when your temperatures ain't set. This thing beeps lets you know. Uh whatever temperature you set it at, that thing gonna let you know. It's aggravating too. So I appreciate uh Eight Bird for allowing me to test this out. Um I'm gonna give y'all a thumbs up on this. I'm gonna use this. Because it's crazy colored and it's gonna stand out and it's convenient. I just wish they'd have sent me some uh, six foot probes so I could use it on Big Bertha. Uh, but I'll definitely be using it on my Weber, my Smoky Mountain, and then now my Barrel House grill that I'll be bringing out here shortly uh, to show you guys. So stay tuned for that uh, video. And like I said, Inkbird, hey, you got yourself a product, man. I'm gonna give y'all a thumbs up. Hey, send me that carrying case, y'all. Send me the carrying case so I can do a review on that. And what that is, is Apparently, I was just looking on Amazon, they got a case for this, so I don't just um, have to keep reusing the box it came in. But, I'm going to turn this off. Another thing I like about this is it has a little, let me open this real quick. You open this up, you can charge it up. It's rechargeable. I love that. I love that. I can recharge this thing without having to buy batteries and stuff. I look for batteries and wondering if it's charged. And it tells you the percentage on here. Um, well, I just turned it off. But it will show you. Let me get a close up. See where it says one way connection? 
it would show you the percentage of the battery. Matter of fact, let me turn it on real quick. Turn it on. Bam, I'm already connected. Oh yeah, just that quick, y'all. See it says 80%? I mean 80% on the battery. I didn't charge this up, y'all. I just took it right out of the box. Um, I don't recommend that because you prolong the life of your battery if you charge it up fully. But I want to give y'all a review of it. Fresh out the box, then. And there you have it, y'all. Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue testing out the Ink Bird with my eye touch. Works wonderful. Uh, the one thing, like I said, the one thing I do wish they did was allow me to configure this with my Wi-Fi so I can go anywhere in the house and uh, know what my signal uh, or my uh, temperatures look like. But other than that, man, just like any other thing, a whole lot simpler than the Maverick uh, uh, that I have. The MK, uh, the, uh, what is it, the 733, 7, 733 to 735, both of those. Uh, definitely better than those, man. So I don't know if you can hear it beeping now. On the patio, just because it's disconnected, I just turned it off. But uh, I appreciate y'all allowing me to review this product. Definitely gonna be using this in the future, so y'all see it in my, my cooks. I put the link in the description on where I got it from. Y'all stay tuned, man. Follow these guys. I don't know what else they got out there, but I'm gonna go look just because I'm curious, man. And like I said, I never heard of them. I'm always a, a Maverick fan. I even use the uh, what is it? They sell at uh, Home Depot the the Apple the Eye Grill. I bought one of those, the first original one. It sucked uh, just because I guess they were working out of kinks. I saw one, the iGrill 3, uh, a couple days ago. I was interested in that, but uh, I'm not going to buy it just because I already bought one product, and it kind of gave me the thumbs down on that. So iGrill, the original, the iGrill. I don't know about the i3, iGrill 3. So uh, let me know. Comment below and let me know if you think it's worth getting or let's, uh, trying out. But for now, I love this product right here. Love the color. Like I said, it looked like Halloween, but I, I wish it had blue on the bottom. Maybe they can configure it a different color and send me one. But uh, anyway, this your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos. Send me free stuff. Holla at your boy.